Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to stay and join our little community. Hit the notification button so you are aware of my new uploads. I upload twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays. As you can see at the title of my video, we're going to be talking about elevating your life at home. Now, let me start by saying these are my opinions. These are things that I do. This is not about money. And I know we're in a pandemic. Everybody may not have the money for these things. I totally understand. This is just something that I wanted to share with you guys, something that has made me happy because we're home and we can't go outside things that I've done to elevate my life at home and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is in no way, you know, you have to have these or else you're not elevated. No, these are things that I've done to elevate my life and I wanted to share them with you guys. Even if you did one thing off this list, that's fine. You know, it's not about the money or, you know, it's really about the mindset. These things have helped my mindset because this pandemic, like I've been going through it. So these things have helped me. So if you want to hear my tips on how to elevate your life at home, keep watching. So the first thing I want to talk about is when you're in your home as much as we are now, it's like you want to do everything you can to make it feel the best it can. You know, this is the most, I'm sure a lot of us that are not stay-at-home moms have been at home. So it's like you look around and you see so much that you can do now that, you know, you have the free time. So I would say my first thing would be to put fresh flowers in your home. I'm not, I can't tell you how many times I've went to the store and bought home flowers and it has instantly lifted my mood. And my mood has changed just in the store picking them up. I didn't even get home with them yet. Just buying them, it's just like, it just uplifts you like the scent and they're so pretty. There's nothing wrong with artificial flowers or even silk flowers, but there is nothing like fresh flowers to just lift your mood, just to spread a beautiful fragrance. Fragrance. <laughs> fragrance throughout your home. In the wintertime, I'm not going to lie, I do have bonyoing flowers because I don't, the flowers that I like are not always in season. And sometimes I don't feel like, you know, going outside in the cold to go get no flowers. So, you know, I just, I went to Michael's and I actually purchased some flowers and made my own bouquet. And I'll show you guys um, what it looks like. It was pretty expensive, but... You know, it's only something that I had to do one time. So I'm going to keep those on the table until the springtime comes. And then I'm going to go out and start putting fresh flowers everywhere. You can put them on your dining room table, your living room table. Um, I keep them in my closet, um, your bedroom. You can even put them in your bathroom, like in a small little round vase or a small little square vase. You know, sit them on top of your cabinet if you have cabinet space in your bathroom however you want to do it. But fresh flowers in your home is one easy way to elevate your lifestyle at home. Tip number two, when we're home so much, some things can get a little boring, a little tedious. So sometimes if you have the time, you know, or the funds, you can make little projects in your home. Since I've been home, I've done my kitchen, even though I'm not finished, added things to my closet. I added wallpaper to my staircase. Still not done that, but I started it. And the one thing I think that would really help, especially if you feel stale, Change the paint color in your rooms, preferably the bedroom. A lot of times, I, well, I put more effort into everywhere else in my home and leave my bedroom for last. When your bedroom should be one of the most important places because that's like your sanctuary. So my bedroom now is very 
it's not even neutral. It's white, gray, black with a little bit of blush added and I'm kind of bored. So my next project after I finish my kitchen would be to redo my bedroom and I'm going to start with a paint color. You don't, it doesn't have to necessarily be white. It doesn't have to necessarily be tan or beige. You know, any color that you gravitate towards or you personally like, but just something that will lift your mood and something that will, when you go into your bedroom and relax, it helps you relax. You know, you feel a tranquility in your room because that is your personal space outside of the world. Even though your home is still your personal space, your bedroom is your space. So you want it to be comfortable. You want it to make you feel relaxed from the stress of the day because even being home all day can be stressful. We want to go outside. But then when you go outside, you know, it's like the plague is outside. You don't know which what to do. So, you know, your bedroom is very important. So buying new PJs. Now, this may seem simple, but because we're home, we have a tendency to fall into just looking any old kind of way. We're home. Who's going to see us? We see us. It affects our mood. It affects our thoughts. When you get dressed and you put on makeup or your heels and your earrings, you feel different. You feel good. So especially right now, you want to feel that way. Even if it's just one pair, preferably silk or satin. You know, if you already have them, great. Put them on. When I tell you this was me, everything I'm telling you is things that I was doing. And these things help me. The sweatpants, the t-shirt with the food stains on it, the paint stains on it, you know, the scarf, all of that was me. Nobody wants to feel like that all day. It's bad enough of what we're going through. That's just making it worse. It's, it may seem like, you know, what's the big deal? It's a big deal. And it will definitely help you elevate while you're home. So my next tip is something that I have really been getting into since I've been home. And that is investing in good dinnerware, cookware, um, flatware. Now, um, this is all, you know, subjective. It's all about your budget. It's all about, you know, what you're comfortable with. It's all about your taste. But I have personally been into elevating my dinnerware, uh, specifically my cups and because I'm into cappuccinos now. My mother had purchased me a new cappuccino maker because I was stay at Wawa's. She purchased me a new cappuccino maker for Christmas and I have been in love and hooked ever since. So it just dawned on me one day like, I need some good, like, you know, cups and, you know, something really like, you know, I just need something else. Well, I, <laughs> I've been going there, but it has something that has been really helping my mental health and it has really been making my morning cappuccinos so much more fun and elegant. And my favorite dinnerware so far has been Hermes. I have really been investing in their porcelain and their cups and plates. It seems small, but it's like one of the best things that I have done. Like I have just been really enjoying myself. Um, some other, you know, good brands. It doesn't have to be Hermes. Uh, Tiffany has really good um, cups and saucers and teacups and not teacups, teapots and, you know, things of that nature. If that's your aesthetic, Versace has great dinnerware and it doesn't necessarily have to be designer. Um, Villeroy and Bach has really good dinnerware and homeware. Um, I own some of that as well personally, and it's really good. You can go to Macy's, you can go to Home Goods and look up on things like that. I have a whole uh, Viking pen from Home Goods that I lucked up on, and it was $25. So, you know, you don't have to spend a whole astronomical amount. I'm just extra. Whatever makes you comfortable. Because this is about elevating, not about adding stress to your life, not about, oh, I got to go get this because no, if that's what you like, you go get it. Also, I have been 
cooking more lately. Um, I'm not the best cook in the world, but I'm getting better. Um, and I have really been investing in cookware. My favorite, my favorite cookware, bakeware right now is uh, La Crusette and Staub. When I tell you these things will have you selling all of your clothes out of your house to pay for because I'm still trying to understand why a Dutch oven is $400, $500. But I ain't got the answer yet, but I'm waiting. But it's I feel so good when I'm cooking and it makes me put extra effort into whatever I'm cooking, you know, because I'm using good stuff. So I want it to come out good. Not just your ingredients that have to be good for your dish to come out good. You know, it's the things you use as well. It's funny because growing up in West Philly, it's, we weren't poor by any means. My mom and dad, I, you know, grew up in a two parent household until my um my dad unfortunately passed, but they both had good jobs. We are a small family. I think it's about 15 of us, maybe 20. And we were all raised under, you know, my grandmother's house, my mom's house, my aunt's house. We all were raised tight knit around each other. We we're raised a certain way. Some of us a little more extra than others. But I remember my first day of school in first grade, I had burgundy lizard shoes on that my Aunt Sylvia had purchased for me. So this is something that was that I was born with. You know, my dad was a dresser. You know, he loved clothes. You know, my mom has always been into home decor. My mom is like the bougiest lady, you know, ever. And we picked this up from her. So these things might seem frivolous to some people, but you know, this is how I grew up. And these are things that make me happy. I want to pass them on to you guys and maybe they can make you happy. Another tip I have for elevating your life at home, make a personal space for yourself. Doesn't matter if you're in an apartment, it doesn't matter if you're in a five, six bedroom house, make a space for yourself. Um, I was fortunate enough that my husband allowed me to take one of the rooms in our home and turn it into my closet. We need a space for ourselves. A lot of you have children, husbands, significant others, jobs. Your life is consumed by so many other things. Take a space for yourself. I don't care if it's a prayer room, if it's a walk-in closet, it could be the side of your bed in your room. That's your area, that's your space. We need a space for ourselves sometime to just take time out, to be alone, to do whatever it is we wanna do, to do things you may not necessarily want other people to see you doing. Um, I think Carrie called it um, single woman behavior. We don't have to be single to have certain behaviors we may not want our partners or kids to see. I do goofy stuff all the time. I don't want my husband to see. So, you know, everybody should have a space that is theirs. Another tip I have, if you're fortunate enough to have a walk-in closet, put a television and a, um, what is it called? A mini fridge in your closet. Life-changing. If I had a stove in here, I would never come out. Another tip I have for elevating your life at home, invest in good perfume. I know it may seem, again, frivolous or who's going to smell you, you're going to smell you. Spraying on perfume during your day, it uplifts your spirit just like flowers do. It just, it feels so good after you shower, you have on your silk or satin pajamas, you got on your cute little fur slippers, slides, cause we all have them. Spritz just a tiny bit of your favorite perfume, good perfume. You know, you don't have to go and just get any, you know, cheap perfume. No, it's, this is you. My mom has a saying, never be cheap with yourself. I'm not saying go spend all the bill money on perfume. Find a good perfume that you love, your signature scent, and spritz a little bit on, you know, your wrist, behind your ear, behind your knees. It just helps you get through your day. I know that it helps me, so hopefully it'll help you. But do me a favor. 
Just a small favor. Let's find something other than Baccarat. I love it. Smells amazing. Had enough. All of these things as well can be done in time. There's no rush. Uh, we don't have to be rich to live well. You know, people, we work, people are working hard out here. A little bit of time out to do something for yourself to make you feel good at home. You know, even if you have to do Zoom meetings and Zoom calls, you have your fresh flowers in the back, you, your, you know, good perfume, Brits on, have your fancy Givenchy uh, cup and saucer, you're drinking your cappuccino out of just the little things that help you during your day because right now what's going on is a mess and we're just trying to just make it and take it day by day when i'm in my kitchen cooking especially that i'm looking around of all the hard work i've done in my home and i'm baking with my la crusette uh dutch oven have my biscuits and my staub bowl or whatever the case may be it just feels so good this is what we are supposed to be doing. This is how we're supposed to be living. Again, we're not rich. God didn't put us here to be on the struggle bus. I'm not, I'm not going for it. Everybody was not blessed to have an abundance of money, but we're doing the best we can with what we have. And I want to live nice with however much income I have coming in. So we're going to make it work. I love the woman that I'm becoming. And I love to see black women in luxury. We deserve luxury. We set the trends. We move these things. You know, we say what's hot and what's not. So we deserve it. We deserve to live like this. You know, you deserve to live luxuriously, even if it's in your home. Another tip I have would be prayer throughout your day. Now, transparent moment. This is something that I struggle with. Not necessarily not wanting to pray, but I have in my mind that prayer should look a certain way. It doesn't always necessarily have to be, you know, on your knees. I prefer it to be that way, but you talking to God is prayer. I'm sure he wants to hear from us all day, every day. You asking him questions before you make a move or you in your kitchen washing dishes and you're just having a conversation with him. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a car and thank God for wireless earpieces, because if not, people would think I'm nuts because I'm just you pull up on the side of me and I'm. Because I'm, you know, just I'm mad about something or, you know, I'm confused about something or I'm just talking to God about my day. Oh, so I'm just like just bending to him. So I would say that is another way to elevate yourself at home is to take time out and dig more into your prayer life. This goes for me as well. Like me saying this is helping me as well because this is something that I need to work on more as well because like I said I always feel like prayer should look a certain way and I feel like I feel bad that uh, if I'm not doing it this way that you know it's not right or it's not enough you talking to God sincerely from your heart is enough no I'm not saying you should never you know, get on your knees and bow your head. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is I'm sure you talking to him, you going to him, you thinking of him to discuss whatever's going on in your life with him is what he wants. Last tip I have. This is something that has really helped me throughout my day being at home. Um, I'm in school right now, so spending a lot of time in my living room. I'm on the floor, on the table with my laptop, my books. I'm not into the Febreze and, you know, all of those home spray things. Take one of your, and this is going to sound crazy, but follow me, one of your really good perfumes, spray your furniture. I'm telling you, there is nothing like walking into your living room and one of your favorite, it doesn't have to be the one you wear out in the street. It can be one that you barely wear, you know, just to get some use out of it because perfumes are expensive. Smith a little bit on your couch, your pillows, your curtains, like this is 
one of the best things that I have started doing that I've added into my repertoire of being home. Spraying good perfume on my furniture. And you don't have to do it every day because I don't. These little things, like they really help you throughout the day. So I would suggest grab one of your old perfumes, you know, that you don't wear, but you don't want to get rid of, or you know, you don't have any use for it anymore. Take it and mist a little bit of it, you know, on your furniture change your life. Well, guys, that is all I have for today for my tips of elevating your life at home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have anything that you might want to add, you know, let me know in the comments. You know, I'll read and respond. I love talking to you guys in the comments. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. And like always, I love you guys and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.